Hi everyone, Chrissy here with another video. Uh, this time I am doing my LV pump tips video. If you have seen my LV pump review, I mentioned that I was going to go ahead and get to this video. So finally, here we are. I have a big list of all kinds of tips that I've written down randomly as I've been pumping. Um, they're really not in any particular order. <laughs> and I don't think I'm gonna be editing this video, so please bear with me, but there are a lot of good tips, including that you can lay down while pumping with these. I will show you a hack for that. So in the meantime, we will go ahead and get started. Uh, I feel like I was gonna say something else, but I'm sure I will randomly think of it in the middle of this video or not. Maybe I'll add it in the description. <laughs> Here we go. So um, what you want to do is store your um, pump parts if you can. I mean, some people like to wash them in between washes, uh, in between pumps. I don't do that. What I normally do is I actually have two coolers. I have this one. This is my, my bag, my pump bag during the week. And then it is my um, diaper bag. On the weekends or at night if I need it so I just pull all of my stuff out and then I just have random bags in here of all kinds of stuff so this is like extra LV parts actually this is extra LV parts yeah my extra bottles and things like that are in here so what I do when I go to work is I bring a cooler and I have an ice pack in here and after I'm done pumping I go ahead and I store my parts I take apart um, the bottom, I take this apart like this, and then I also have this Medela um, sanitizer spray. So I use this on my pump parts, I spray them. You can, you actually don't have to wipe them down according to this, but I wipe off any milk, if there was any milk that got anywhere. I spray them down with this, and I go ahead and I empty out my milk into the um, bottles that I bring with me to work. These I don't clean um, during the day because it's just, it's milk that I've poured out and I'm just going to continue pumping. I pump about five or six times at work um, while I'm there. So I store all of that inside my cooler bag and I keep that with an ice pack or if you have access to a fridge at work, you can keep yours um, in the fridge. It's just an easier way than having to clean your parts every single time. Before I got this pump, I was using my Medela Freestyle with my... Um, free me cups and I also had a little fanny pack so like I hid the tubes and everything it worked great it was basically the same concept as this I'll do another video on that and way cheaper uh, the only difference is with the free me parts you have to wash them in between every time you cannot store them in cool places because they are just basically like plastic Tupperwares and they um, shrink in cold and then they expand with heat so they need to be washed and like sterilized in hot water every after every single pump. I just couldn't deal with it. So anyway, I ended up going with these. So what I do is I store my parts away during the day. Val, stop! <laughs> store my parts away during the day um, in between pumps. I can see this is going to take a while because it sounds like I'm going to ramble, but I'm going to try to see if I can move it along. Um... <clears throat> When you are reassembling your parts, make sure that your flanges and your membranes are totally dry. These have to be completely dry, um, especially this part in the middle and especially this entire membrane. If there is any kind of water there, you're not going to get good suction, okay? So what I like to do is I like to make sure they're completely dry. Um, Put them back together. I use a little bit of coconut oil every single time I pump. Uh, that's another one of my tips. I use coconut oil. You can put it in here or you can just put it directly on your nipple. Just make sure that you do not get it near these. There's two little tiny holes right in here that go into the inside of the pump. So just make sure that you don't get it there, that it's not blocking those holes 
because again, it will give you a suction issue. If you're not having good suction, you should have decent suction with these. I don't care if you have the strongest nipples in the world, this thing should still feel decent. So if it's not feeling, if you're not feeling that much suction or you're not getting that much output, make sure that your pump is sucking the way it should be. And you can do that by putting it all together, putting it on and waiting there for a second. Before I go back into the office and I start running about my business, I put it there and I, I, you know, sometimes I hook my bra up in the bathroom and I just kind of give it a second. Sometimes it will stop sucking and sometimes it will begin sucking. So I, while I'm paying attention and I'm in the bathroom and, and all, you know, I'm completely aware of what I'm doing, I'd rather do that then and then get back into the office, start getting busy or, or doing my job and the next thing I know, oh my God, 10 minutes has gone by and I don't feel anything. What the hell did I just waste X amount of minutes that I haven't been, you know, producing milk. So make sure that your suctioner is working good. If you don't want to have to put it on and off, another thing that you can do is you can grab an extra membrane. Wrong bed. <laughs> la, 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 la. Okay. Grab an extra one of these. And you just kind of lay it right here like this. And then you can go ahead and turn the pump on. I did just charge these. Um, okay. Now you see how that thing is sucking it down? That's the way you want it. That's how you know that everything is put together good. And it is on there. That sucker is, now if it's just doing like this, barely, oh, I can't even see anymore, then something is wrong. Okay, you want a good suction. <laughs> so that's how you can test it if you don't want to be putting it on and off and on and off. Um, okay, another tip that I have is... I did that, I did that. <laughs> um, yes, make sure that the flange is firmly on here, okay? You wanna make sure that it's on there tight. Even if everything is dry, make sure that it's not lifted up here. Make sure it's not lifted up here. You wanna make sure that this is laying flat. Sometimes these get worn. So just be aware. Uh, they give you four when you buy one. So I like to alternate parts around, you know, um, maybe use these membranes for for a week and then I'll switch out into my bag and say, oh, let me, you know, use the other ones for a week. Just make sure that it's on there firmly. I like to press it down and then you put it on. So that's another suction tip that you can use. Um, I mentioned about the coconut cream or the nipple cream. Make sure it's not blocking those holes. Use cushions for in between sizes. And remember, one nipple, one nipple, one boob nipple can be smaller or bigger than the other. Um, there was a time, and your nipples change, believe it or not. There was a time that I had to use the cushions that I have. And then after a while of using this pump, I did not need them anymore. So I had to stop using them. Um, just be aware, be aware of your output, be aware of your comfort. Um, get sized maybe by a lactation consultant if you feel the need to. So the um, pump itself comes with, I believe, 24 and 27, if I'm not mistaken, are the sizes. So I use a 24, and then in the beginning, I bought these um, May Mom flanges. I put them in the description box of my bell. I put them in the description box of my other video. I'll put them in this one, too. I just kind of cut them and... Um, made them work for me. I cut them so those holes are not blocked and then they fit in here perfect. So if you're in in between size or you feel like you can use these, there's also some Bujon cushions I think that some girls use and it works perfect. Again, a little bit of coconut oil to make sure that there's no friction, everything feels comfortable. These things are great and they do help with output. So, you know, and be aware, maybe one, one boob needs one, one boob doesn't. <clears throat> wow, I actually remembered a lot of these <laughs> by heart. Okay, another thing I like to do is I like to switch my pump assignment. When you first turn these on, you have them and they're assigned. You're going to assign them to your left and right boob. Every other pump, I switch them to the opposite boob. And the reason I do this is because maybe one pump isn't working as well. Um, 
I've had to send one of these back to um, customer service because it wasn't charging right. So I'm just a little bit of a paranoid person when it comes to my supply. And if there's anything I can do to make sure that uh, make sure I'm doing everything in my power to keep it and be cautious about things, I'm going to do it. So for me, it's just as easy as switching the assignment on each one every time. You know, if one pump seems to be working better, I just kind of want to make sure that I'm alternating and both boobies are getting the suction that they need. Um, another thing you want to do is remember that if you charge them, they don't hold a charge. Um, and I, from what I read today in one of the groups, is that if you leave them for a prolonged period of time, that they go completely dead for a very long time, they may not turn back on. I was not aware of this until today. It has been five weeks, it might be six weeks, um, since I have been pumping at all because I have been home quarantined. Um, mine were completely dead so I just went ahead and I charged them. I plugged them in and they hooked up immediately right away. So thank God they both turned on. Um, I'm still under warranty anyway, but they both turned on and charged. Another thing is if you only pump during the week for work, let's say like I do, what I do is I come home, I clean my parts, I sanitize everything, I sterilize, and I charge my pumps. Usually I charge my pumps at work around four or five o'clock before I go home. And then they're perfect for the next morning. On a Friday night, I come home, I wash my parts, I put everything away. I don't charge these babies until Sunday night uh, because if I charge them Friday at work and then I let them sit Saturday and Sunday, Monday they're not ready for a full charge and I like to get a couple pumps out of them uh, before I have to recharge. Uh, speaking of charging, your LV comes with two long USB cables. They're just mini USBs. They do not give you any AC adapters or anything. So they say that you can just use the AC adapters that come with your phone, something like this. And you can plug them in that way. What I like to do is I like to have power banks. These things are great. So usually what I do is while I'm pumping at work, I'll make sure I have, obviously I'm a little bit OCD, so I have three. But I, I charge them up, I make sure they're completely charged, and then they all come with mini cords, little short cords. So I took my LV cords, I stowed, I stowed them away, and I just kept the two small cords out. So I can actually charge the power bank with this, and then once it's done charging, I can just flip it around, and then I can actually charge my pumps through here. And these things are great, they usually tell you how much battery is left. Yeah. And you just hook them up and you can charge it that way. So power bank power banks are a great lifesaver. Another thing I wanted to go over with you guys is uh, use your own measuring system when it comes to pouring out your milk. The the measuring on the LV bottles is not that accurate. So you have measuring here. What I like to do is I pump, I walk around, I don't look at what I'm what I'm pumping. They have it in the app, which I'll try to upload a picture in here again. Like I said, I'm not great at editing videos, but I'll try to upload a picture of the app in here for you. They say that they calculate your milk because there are sensors underneath here. They're not that accurate. I don't like to look anyway because I feel like it frustrates me. Um, I'm, I'm a barely enough or, you know, under supplier type girl. So uh, it I don't like to look at it. Once you take it out and you want to measure it, if you do want to actually measure and keep track of it, you just take it out here. You can you can pour it from um, here, but I feel like you can get every last drop if you just take this whole thing off and you pour it into your bottle. So pour it in there, see how much it measures out in that bottle, and then if you want to go ahead and adjust it in the app, and then I go ahead and I take the second boob and I dump that in the same bottle and then I just go ahead and fix my app to make sure that my total equals um, what I have pumped. If you are an under supplier and you are getting this pump and you are installing the app and you are thinking about punching in those numbers, you might not want to do it. <laughs> the best thing that you can do for your supply 
is stay calm and stay happy and positive and release that oxytocin. You don't want to be frustrating yourself. So when you're a pumper, especially when you're an exclusive pumper, because I was an exclusive pumper in the beginning for, I think, almost the first two months of his life, it frustrates you. It's like nothing but a freaking numbers game. So you're there. Well, how much did I get this time? How much did I get this time? If you don't have to, don't measure. What does it make a difference? Pour it in the bottle. Put it away in the cooler. On the next pump, you pour that batch in a new bottle because you want to keep the the warm milk, let it get acclimated to the cold first, and then you mix. Don't use the freaking app if, if it's going to frustrate you. Your health and your supply is more important than your, your numbers in an app. I think I got everything on that page. Okay, I told you about the power banks. Ah, add an extra let down, let down um, in your pumping session by manually pressing it. I used to do this with my Medela Freestyle all the time as well. Um, it's nice to, <laughs> I don't mean it like that. It, it, it's good to um, trick your nipples in a way. It's just like you would with your hair, how you like, you know, when you change a shampoo after so long and all of a sudden your hair's like, ooh. So it's kind of the same thing with your boobs. Once you have it on and you turn it on, right? In the app, you'll see there's a little teardrop at the top. Milk drop is actually what it is. And in the beginning, it's going fast because it's trying to get a letdown. Once it feels like it's it's gotten that from your boobs, then it's gonna slow down and it's gonna do it a little bit slower. I like to set an alarm on my phone or just kind of keep a reminder. If I pump for, I usually pump for 30 to 40 minutes. Like I said, I'm an under supplier, I pump for the whole time. So depending on how long you pump for, maybe in five minutes or maybe in 10 minutes, you wanna just set, your, set yourself a note or a reminder. Go back in and go back to the letdown. And just go hit those two buttons and, and let it go back for a second and then it'll automatically go back to um, the longer pumps afterwards. But it's just nice to add an extra letdown and that's pretty much um, something that you wanna do with every pump. Invest in a bigger bra that fits your LV pumps because you don't want them pressed too hard up against you, okay? So I got a huge, ugly, this thing is so ugly, it's from Walmart. It's like the most disgusting grandma bra you could ever get. It's that nude beige color, big cloth, it's so gross. But <laughs> it is the best bra for your LV, I'm telling you. So um, I think I got like a triple D or something. Maybe I got a double D, I don't remember but I got a 38, you know, big around, and they just fit in there beautifully. Like, it just kind of just sits right there. It doesn't, you don't want it pressing hard against here. All of your, you know, milk, I don't even know what they're called, but, <laughs> you know, there's lines going through your boobs. And if you're having it pressed too hard, that can mess with the suction. You know, you just, you want it, you want it kind of resting on there to where it's nothing is going to leak out and the air is not going to leak there getting a good suction, but it's not, you know, pressed too firmly on there, if that makes any sense. Oh, I have a Dr. Brown's bottle brush downstairs. These bottles are probably some of the hardest bottles to wash. So the brush that I use is from Dr. Brown's. I got it at like, um, I think I got it at TJ Maxx. Anyway. It's the regular bristles. I'll take a picture and put it in the in the video if I can, but I'll definitely leave a description, uh, leave a link to buy it in the description. It's bristles, and then on the top, it's a nice sponge, so it just gets in there perfect. You can you you know you can get all inside. Your breast milk's very greasy and oily, so a lot of this stuff is so hard to clean. And then on the opposite end, instead of being like a, a bristle nipple brush, it's like a silicone. And it fits perfect in here to clean that or to clean the nipples on your bottles. It's great. That brings me to my next tip. I don't know if it's on here or not. When you're cleaning these, just make sure you're not going like too deep. You always just want to be, be cautious of this part and make sure that it's not wearing and it's not sitting like that, something like that. It always needs to be flush. So just be aware of your parts. Make sure that your membranes are not warping, stuff like that. Like I said, the customer service is great. Let them know if anything. Um, is not working to your satisfaction and a lot of times they'll send you parts um, 
or you just have to replace them if you are out of warranty. Um, you can use the timer feature in the app. So if you need to stop it before 40 minutes, if you're an oversupplier, yay, you go girl, you're awesome. Uh, if you fill up these bottles very quickly, then just use the timer inside the app. So, um, so you can, I'm pretty sure, I think it will shut off once, once the timer, at least the timer will go off and you'll know, Hey, maybe I got to go empty and then put them back on, or maybe you're done with your pumping session. Um, when your session ends, try to timely go into the app. Okay. Yes, this is definitely a good thing. Go into the app when your timing session ends, right? So I pump the full 40 minutes. My things go off and I don't even know. And I'm walking around at work and I'm like, oh yeah, I got to go take them off. Duh. I try to make sure to go to my phone and hit finish on the app because the pumps will end up auto, auto shutting off after being on idle. And then if you're busy, like I say, and you need a minute to go, to go to take them off. Once you hit finish and save, you know, you hit finish on your app and you hit save with whatever crazy amount of milk the stupid app has told you that it, that you did pump or you did not pump, hit save and then go about your business. And then you can, when you go into the bathroom, you don't have to turn them back on. You can just go into the app and you can hit edit and you can change that session to what you really did pump. Um, if you don't do that, a lot of times your session will be gone. For some reason, it like randomly disappears. It doesn't save. Then I end up having to go into the bathroom. I turn one on and then you got to turn it back on and feel it again. And it's like, oh, my nipples are a little sore. I really don't want to feel that for the second time after just doing this for 40 minutes. I don't know. It's just a tip to me. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> um, what else? Remember they lose... Um, their charge over time. I told you that. Pour it from the cup and not the spout. So I think that's it. So the only thing I have left is to tell you how you can da, 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 go to sleep with the LVs on. Go to sleep. You can lie down, okay? So the willow, the famous willow, is known to suck the entire time on your boobies and you will be able to do yoga and handstands and sit on your head and lay down and fall asleep. I don't know how you could fall asleep while being ripped to party your boobies by the willow, but you can do all of these things with it, right? My idea was when I lay down and um, so let's say when I was co-sleeping with my son, I'm not anymore. Um, let's say I'm feeding him on one boob and I want to pump the other boob. This is the idea of a pump. This is the idea of any pump technically, right? It's gravity, okay? So if you go, if you have it on, right? Here's here's my booby, you have it on. If you lean this way, you're gonna have a possible leak. If you lean all the way back, you're gonna have a possible leak, right? So we need to be upright. So if you're laying down, I'm not gonna like lay down, but I'm gonna give you an idea, right? So if we're laying down and I'm feeding my son on this boob, he's laying next to me and I'm so relaxed and I'm like, oh, I don't wanna pump my other boob right now, this sucks, ha. Just put it on sideways, okay? So if you're completely vertical, <laughs> this is so weird that I'm even trying to do this. If you're completely vertical, then you put it on this way, okay? Your nipple is completely round. As long as it's in the middle and you're putting it on correctly, you can put it on sideways like this, in other words, I'm saying, and you will be able to lay down and pump. So that has been working for me. I absolutely love these things. I'm a little upset that they said um, that I heard today that they might lose their charge. I mean, I don't want to go charging these things for the next year or two or something just because I don't want to lose them. So I think what I might end up doing is I will end up maybe um, maybe doing a giveaway uh, for these once I am done with them. I am, my son is at eight months now, so I would like to make it to a year. Um, we'll see. So just stay tuned. Please like this video if you liked it. I'm so sorry it took so long and I'm a random mess and my cat's running around eating every piece of paper in the bedroom making noise. But this is me and this is my life and this is how my videos are going to be. So if you like them, please subscribe. I will see you next time. How do we shut this thing off?